Andrea Koral was born to a distinguished family in Istanbul. It was 1910, and she grew up in a mansion. It wasn't only surrounded by colorful flowers, but also diplomats, writers, and painters. And it was a time when the Ottoman Empire collapsed. But even throughout the war years, she studied French, violin, and philosophy. She also worked as a music critic and painted for a while. Then, she discovered her craft. She was in Switzerland receiving treatment for tuberculosis. She was giving some clay to pass the time. Studying some offhand techniques turned into her first ceramics exhibit in 1951. Soon thereafter, she returned to Istanbul and became Turkey's first contemporary ceramics artist. But Coral made it to a point to support the bourgeoisie and make her art accessible. Freya Koral always emphasized that art shouldn't be confined to museums, and she didn't mind at all her works were being used. So she designed coffee tables, pots, and mugs for the Turkish Grand National Assembly. Those coffee tables were more than art. They were used during meetings and tea breaks for about three decades. And it wasn't until recently that people began appreciating them as artworks. Last year, Freya Koral's works for the parliament were put on display in Ankara, and now they can be seen at the Museum of Palace Collections in Dolmabahçe, Istanbul. Freya Koral has a very special place for the Turkish Grand National Assembly. In the 1950s, influential artists were gathered by the government, and they were sent to various parts of Anatolia to study local motifs and arts. Then they designed unique works with their own interpretation. The exhibit also shows Koral's personal items, photographs, other works, and a plate that is a part of an exhibit for the first time ever. And it's possible to see Koral's significant style that combines East and West, traditional and modern, in every single piece. It is not possible for us to continue Freya Koral's ceramics art, but we thought that we can continue her insight her understanding. We made an effort to spread her art philosophy by using her patterns and designs in the form of new items. Freya Koral didn't stop producing works until she passed away at the age of 87. During her lifetime, she exhibited works from Mexico to Czechia, but her hometown was always special. For Koral, Everything she made with clay was a reflection of her world. Estradrust, TRT World.